Welcome movie fans to the David Lee channel where today I'm going to be talking about the movie I went and saw today in Sabotage. Sabotage is the new Arnold Schwarzenegger movie directed by David Ayer who is the guy who did the movie End of Watch and I do believe he wrote the script for Training Day. And so I go into this movie just after watching End of Watch. End of Watch is just was just on Netflix so I was really excited about this movie. I mean it had Arnold Schwarzenegger it had David Ayer, who does a gripping stories with some great characters. And so I thought going into this movie, this was going to be back into his heyday. And what I get in here is a movie that was just so uninteresting. You had the storyline of these super DEA agents who go in, do a bust, find all this money, and they decide to steal about 10 million of it for themselves. And so they go and they fi find out that the money that they stole was stolen by one of them, by one of the people in the group. <clears throat> and so you have the story of who did it. And it is so uninteresting. All the characters that are in this movie besides Arnold Schwarzenegger are so unlikable. There was no points in this movie where I could just relate to anybody. And nobody had any growth in the characters or any reason for you to root for them. They were just characters on the screen plain stereotypes that you've seen before in the overacting that happens in this movie is just mind-boggling and then to see Arnold Schwarzenegger who looks like a man who's trying to recreate what was so good at the beginning of his career where he had those one-liners that everybody will talk about to the end of time and you just see him trying to go back in the heyday and it does not work whatsoever and then to see the grotesque violence that happened in this movie. Now, I'm not one person to go and tell somebody that that was just too much violence on the screen. No, I'm not that type of person. <clears throat> but the violence that happened in this movie was just so over the top. It's so cartoonish and so unbelievable that I couldn't actually just look at it and just be like, oh, that was dark and that was just gross. But it was just unnecessary. There's even points in there where you see these characters will kill some civilian and almost laugh uh, at, at what is happening and you're just like <clears throat> there's no reason to like these characters that are on the screen. And then you have just an uninteresting script. I mean this script is so terrible that you just look at it and you think to yourself I've seen this type of movie before. And then to find out that the guy who did the script for this movie is the same guy that brought us X-Men Origins. He brought us the Die Hard 5 or 6 or whatever the fuck it was that just killed the Die Hard series. He is the one who in Hollywood just destroys careers. And you could say that this is the movie that's going to sabotage Arnold's comeback. People don't see this movie. Sabotage is so freaking terrible that I myself could not even get into it. I prefer to actually watch these two little girls just run up and down the stairs and just jump all over the, the movie theater. I was more interested in watching that than I was watching what was on screen. There is so bad, much bad in this movie that I am so glad to see how much is bombing in the box office. Sabotage is just terrible. No one go out and see this. This is a movie that you just pass and just forget about. So in the end, I'm going to give Sabotage a 1 out of 5. And I'll see you guys next time on the David Lee channel.